God has entrusted each and every one of us with a particular message. Stick with your assignment. No matter how tough or how a failure it looks, do not change the message that God has entrusted to you personally. Sometimes you look at YouTube videos or TikTok videos, you see those who are doing pranks, they get millions of views. You see those who do rubbish, they get millions of views. And you are there talking about the word of God. You are there talking about Jesus and you barely get any views. If that's the message God has given to you, do not change it just because of the views or the comments or the likes. God may have sent you to just one soul, one person. And if you change your message, you will lose that soul. God will ask you for that soul that he entrusted into your hands. I read a book where this pastor said, God told him to start a Bible study series every evening, once a week. So he began and people came and they were doing the Bible study. And somehow along the way, they dropped the Bible studies and it just became like a prayer group. So they would meet up two hours, pray, 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 conclude that was wonderful and they would go home. And every week they met, it was a prayer service. People came. And one day God told him that that's not the message I sent you. Now you can see that this is like for like Bible study versus praying. But God was not happy. That's not what I asked you to do. I said you should do a Bible study. Let my people know my word. And then he repented and changed it back to a Bible study. How much more if God has called you to preach the message of salvation and you changed it to twerking? You changed it to pranks. How much more will God not be happy with you? Stick to the message God has given you. There is a reward in it. It might seem difficult. There is definitely a reward in it. Remember that the devil is the prince of the air. And what we do is beamed over the air. So obviously, He's not going to want people to watch it and be saved. So he's going to block their ears. But you just carry on. I, I have shared how when I was doing the summaries of the Bible on my YouTube channel, The Bible with Tina, I wanted to stop because I thought nobody was watching. And a young lad from Ethiopia, he messaged me and said he and his friends have been watching my my summaries and they're really enjoying it and that was what motivated me to keep on going if that young lad had not reached out at that time i would have stopped so you do not know who is watching you do not know who god sent you that message to so do not change your message i will leave you with these words from paul from my summary of the book of Galatians. If I am to preach circumcision, I will not be persecuted. Everybody will enjoy it. But that is not the ministry I have been given, which is such a shame nowadays. There are some preachers, when God called them, He called them to be maybe preach holiness or preach salvation, you know, and then because the members are not coming, they change it and they start preaching prosperity. They start preaching, see, and the whole place is full, and they are happy. But God is not there, because that's not the ministry that they gave them. Maybe God gave another pastor to preach prosperity, but not to you. So you need to stick to what God asks you to do. It may seem that it's not working, but in a church, even if it's one person who repents, it's worth it. Yeah, it's really worth it. You don't need a whole lot. You know, that one person, you don't know how many years, how many years they have been praying and praying and praying. And the one message you now spoke about salvation, the person will now come forward after the service and meet with you <coughs> and say, Pastor, yeah, in fact, it's now time. I want to give my life to Christ. But yeah. that day you change the message, right. you start preaching something that you have lost a soul. Amen. And God will ask you for it. So Paul is saying that if I preach circumcision, they will not bother me. 
I will be okay, everybody will like me. But that is not my ministry. I'm not to preach. Why should I preach the law that I am trying to destroy? And I will now come and build it up again. He said, Oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Blessed be the name of